Hey everybody, it's Show and Tell Wednesday. I'm behind two videos this year, so um, in my daily vlog, so we're doing it today. Um, so this Show and Tell is uh, again related to religion, but it is hilarious, and I beg you not to skip it just based on the fact that it's based on religion. This is something that I got in the mail, um, and I kept everything. It's just so ridiculous. Okay, here's the envelope it came in. Now, um, as you can see, it was mailed in July 2011, and it reads, This very old church loans this to you to bless someone. By the way, I did not underline these. They were already underlined. I don't know why. To bless someone connected with this home. Then it must go to another family that desires God's blessings. See letter inside. Now, when I saw this, I thought, what the hell? And so, of course, I opened it. And um, it has this letter on the back of it uh, right here. And it reads, Dear Jesus, we pray that you will bless someone in this home spiritually, physically, and financially. And please, dear Lord, bless the one whose hands opened this letter. Um, what does that say? Make good changes in this one's life and give them the desires of their heart. We pray over and bless this letter in your holy name. Amen. Okay. So, I was curious as hell when I uh, opened it. And uh, this is what was inside. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for the creepiness? It's like a Jesus mat or something. It's the face of Jesus and um, it's kind of creepy on its own, but when you read the crap that came with it, you're just gonna flip because it's ridiculous. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> because apparently his eyes are supposed to open if you do something to it. Uh, okay, oh, it says so down here. Look into Jesus' eyes, you will see they are closed. But as you continue to look, you will see his eyes opening and looking back into your eyes. Then go and be alone and kneel on this rug of faith or touch it to both knees. Then please check your needs on our letter to you. Please return this prayer rug. Do not keep it. And uh, I, I kept it because I was like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen to me? Nothing. Um, on the back it says, this St. Matthew 18, 19 Bible prayer rug, they changed the name like throughout the entire thing. First it's called a rug of faith, then it's called a prayer rug, then it's called a St. Matthew 18, 19 Bible prayer rug. Can we get less elaborate with the names, please? It is soaked with the power of prayer for you. Use it immediately. Then please return it with your prayer needs checked on our letter to you. It must be mailed to a second home that needs a blessing after you use it. Prayer works. Expect God's blessing. This isn't the only thing that was in there, though. Let's continue, shall we? I'm so excited about this. Okay. Now, <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh, this is taped, but I've already opened it. Okay. Um, oh my god. Okay. So here's a picture of Jesus uh, descending or ascending. I'm not really sure which he's doing. I'm, I'm supposing that he's ascending into heaven after his resurrection. Um, something good is about to happen. Is that Comic Sans? No, it's not. Thank God. Please do not open this prophecy until you have placed your prayer page. They have these ridiculous terms for everything. I don't get it. Page two of our letter to you and the prayer rug back in the mail before sunset tomorrow or the next day. God will help you do this. You will see. Don't open this prophecy. Can we get less melodramatic? Okay. Uh, important. Only break open the sealed prophecy after you put this church prayer rug, they changed the name again, and your prayer request back in the mail to this 60-year-old church ministry. Ooh, it's 60 years old. You realize there's churches out there in the world that are centuries and centuries old? 60-year-old church ministry. Oh, that's really impressive. If for any reason you are not going to return this church prayer rug, then this sacred prophecy must be destroyed, unopened, and unread. Because this is a sacred spiritual prophecy, sealed word, concerning you and your future. This prophecy, created with Microsoft Word, God, 
Remember, the Bible says, let your request be made known unto God. Philippians 4, 6. Now, it says a bunch of shit on the back that I don't want to read. It's a bunch of Bible verses, and it's in all caps. Something tells me old people wrote this. Something, Just something tells me. I'm not sure what it is. Um, now they have a uh, business reply mail right here. Um, this is actually from a church in Tulsa, which is way far away from here. It's in Oklahoma. So I don't know how the hell, why are they mailing this to me? This is, you know, this is what they ask people for when they do the offering on Sundays at church. They, they get money so they can send out prayer rugs to people. It's a great use of whatever. And then they have this, this weird newsletter type thing. Um, yeah, doesn't this look like this was, this photo was like taken in the 70s or the 80s or something? One of those decades. God is doing great things in answer to prayer. Blah, blah. Blessed with $46,000 after using prayer rug. She was blessed with $46,000. Now, I'm not really sure. Okay, I think it says how she obtained $46,000. It's not like it fell from the sky or anything. I'm not sure it was a direct result of using the prayer rug either. Okay, blah, blah. She used the prayer rug. Um, she prayed. She only had $50, and that was to last until payday, which had to stretch for food and gas as well. My goodness, there are children starving in Africa, but this woman only had $50 to pay for the home that she owns and the food and gas that she needs. Well, let's bless her with $46,000, but, you know, those African children can just starve to death. God works in mysterious ways. Um, $46,886.20 has me out of debt. It seems if it was just a dream, but that little dream came true. Blah, blah. It never says how she got the money. Then there's someone else here who claims to have gotten $10,000 from it. I don't understand. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, you know, this person received $10,000 in a financial blessing. Okay, how are you blessed with money? It has to come from somewhere. Did you get it in the mail? Did an angel come and just present it to you in cash? How did you obtain the money? You can't just say you're blessed with it. Like it just appeared in your bank account or something. Ridiculous. Blah, blah. This woman was actually healed. She was healed by the prayer rug. 25 years ago or something like that. It never says. Uh, this prayer rug is a point of contact. Never forget. It's a point of contact with the creator of the universe. This prayer rug printed on cheap paper and made in Microsoft software. Okay. No, so now, now this is the... I believe this is the most ridiculous part and I saved it for last for this reason. Oh my god, here, I have to find it. There is, there is like, there is a ridiculous part of this I have to find real quick. Um, uh, blah, blah, uh, okay. <laughs> they changed the name again. They call it, um, you or someone connected with this address and another dear family are about to be blessed through this unusual Bible Faith Church prayer rug. Apparently, the other names, none of the other names worked. Rug of Faith, just plain old prayer rug. They have to call it Bible Faith Church Prayer Rug. What the hell? Okay. Which we are placing in your care for these next 24 important hours. Well, what if you're on vacation or something? You don't get it till you get back. What's going to happen? Is God going to strike you dead? Because of any needs you are facing, we want you to use this church prayer rug. They shortened it again. Blah, blah. Okay, where's the part where they threaten you? There's like, there's a, there's a, there's a part. Okay, no, 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 it's just, it's really mystical. Okay. These next 24 important hours are crucial to you. Timing is important to God. After you kneel on this church prayer rug or place it over your knees, first they tell you to put it, in your, it under your knees, then they tell you to put it over your knees. Place it in a Bible. Place it in a Bible. There's further instructions. On Philippians 4.19, if you don't have a Bible, it's okay. Just slide it under your side of the bed for tonight, if you can. If you can't do this, it's okay. If you can't do it, you must do it. But if you can, it's okay. Good Lord. Okay. Um, leave it there no longer than tonight only. 
God sees. Then, in the morning, it is a must that you get this unusual blessing church prayer rug out of this house and back to us here at the church's chapel prayer room in faith. We must also have this letter back with whatever you need prayer for printed on page two. You might get this Bible... You must get this Bible prayer rug back to us so we can rush it onto another family that's in need of a blessing. Do this without fail. Please do not break this flow of power between us. This flow of power. Then it talks about how Jesus' eyes will slowly open again. Just ridiculous. Anyway, that's it. That's all of the items that were in the ridiculous envelope that I saved. Just reading it makes me angry. <laughs> um... So, uh, so I kept it, and nothing bad has happened. My life is actually pretty good, so... And you know what? This, you know what this is all about? You know what this is all about? This is just to get your information. So they can send you more shit. It's wrapped in this ridiculous, mystical atmosphere, but really, there's that's all there is to it. You gotta give your first name and your last name when you, um when you uh, mail it back to them and uh, then they know who lives there and they know your name and so then they can send you more stuff but if you don't respond then they're like well nobody lives there so that's what I did not getting my information anyway I thought I would share that with you guys because it's freaking hilarious okay I'll see you guys later thanks for watching